We are Team Coke Boat Crackdown, and we're a team of mechanical and electrical engineers at Rice University. It was really interesting. We were uh, presented by the National Security Innovation Network, and the Coast Guard came to us, and they said, okay, hey, we've got this really strange phenomenon. They've got these small drone boats that they've been capturing off of the coast of San Diego that the cartel was using to smuggle narcotics across the border. And what was really, really peculiar about these devices is that they were so small that they weren't conventionally detectable. And when they approached us, they were like, we need to reverse engineer this so that we know how this threat works, how the Coast Guard can then go and try and find the ways that they can protect the bays, the coastlines, all these different things. Okay. This is our boat, we call it the Coke boat. It's uh, about four feet long and 13 inches tall. Uh, here's our waterproof hatch at the top to get me inside. That holds around 90 pounds of payload. Two motors, one on either side, which lets us have some pretty good maneuverability. You can actually like, spin in place and put it in the water. So there was three football players in our team of seven. We have a indoor training room at our facility and it has an underwater treadmill and it blows jets uh, while you're running on it. So we use that to test our 3D printed models and then again when we had our full size boat to just test it in some kind of rough water conditions and to even test the drag as we were pulling it through the simulated rough water. We tested with WaveCam, which is a defense contracting agency that does port cameras and we were trying to test their system to see if they could detect our boat. So the, the purpose of our project is uh, to detect these narcotic stealth ships that have been smuggling illegal goods over the water. And our project gave them some good data for their camera systems to be able to detect like stuff of our size, which is about four foot long. And they had a camera here and here on either side of the bayou. And we just had our boat go back and forth and left and right in all sorts of directions. Uh, for them to get data about how it looks in different parts of the water. Coast Guard has a lot of capabilities to do a lot of different things with this. And that's what I like about the flexibility of this project. They could go and they could try out so many different detection systems as we did with uh, the WaveCan uh, surveillance team. And they can see what product is really best for them and what product is going to be most effective in detecting these types of vessels. 